Hello, I am Sajesh Gupta working as a Java trainer in Arisha Technologies. Welcome to Java 8 features video series. Now, in the last video we have seen a functional interface and uh, even I sent you lambda expression. Now, in the last uh, video we have seen the functional interface which contain the method without uh, arguments and without written type. So, it is nothing but a lambda expression without parameters and without written type. Now, in this video we will see a lambda expression, okay, lambda expression with parameters and uh, with written type, with parameters and with written type. Okay. So, I said you lambda expression is an implementation of functional interface, okay, this implementation might be various from one expression to another. Okay. So, in order to write a lambda expression with parameters and with written type, we required a functional interface which is having a method with parameters and with written type. Okay, for example, I am writing a functional interface like this. So, at the rate functional interface, at the rate functional interface, interface, I just give the interface name as A, some interface called A. Now, which is having a method called int and there is one method called calculate. Now, calculate is a method, it is an abstract method, so it is having two parameters, one is n1 and one more is n2. So, this is a functional interface having only one method and this method is having two parameters okay. and these are the parameters of type integer. Then I try to implement this functional interface as a lambda, then I am saying a, I just write a and this operation is called as add. I am saying a add. Now, this is a lambda with parameters. So, it is having two parameters that is n 1 and one more parameter is what n 2 and i 1 and greater than this is called as lambda operator and what this is returning. So, it is returning n 1 plus written n 1 plus n 2. Now, this is a lambda expression Okay, this is a lambda expression which is an implementation of calculate method. So, the implementation of this calculate might be various from one expression to another, right? but this is calculating means it is adding two numbers. I am trying to write a and this is sub a sub and again I am writing two parameters n 1 n 1 comma n 2. Now, you can write this with uh, types also. Okay. So, I am trying to say written n 1 minus n 2. So, because uh, this expression is returning a value. So, here a calculate is a method it returns one value of type integer. Now, when you call this I will try to say integer result equal to I just write add dot add dot calculate. Okay, I will say add dot calculate sending two values that is 10 comma 20. Now, it will call this anonymous function by sending two values. Now, the value of n 1 is 10 and the value of n 2 is a 20 and then it returns n 1 plus n 2 into result. Okay. In the same way, I am trying to say result, okay, assume that this is result 1 and this is result 2. Then I am trying to say here sub dot calculate, sub dot calculate, I just write 20 comma 10. Now, this time it calls an anonymous function by sending two values. The value of n 1 is 20 and the value of n 2 is 10. Now, this returns 20 minus 10, the value is 10. Okay. Now, this is a lambda expression with parameters and with written type. Okay. So, in order to write a lambda expression with parameters and with, a, with written type, we required a functional interface which contain a method which is having a written type as well as what? parameters. Now, let us see this practically how exactly it works. right? Okay. Now, here I am adding one class. Okay, right now, this is my test class. right? So, where I am writing one functional interface 
called some A. Now, A is a functional interface and this interface is having one abstract method, right? single abstract method. So, to verify this, to verify this, I am trying to use at the rate functional interface. Okay. So, integer, okay, assume that this interface is having one method, boolean, find value. Okay, find value is a method and this method receive a value of type integer. Okay, so, this is uh, assume that this interface name I take uh, some find. So, find is a method having a method called find value. right? So, the implementation of this method varies right? from one expression to another expression. Now, what I am doing here is I am trying to write find find 1. So, find 1 equal to hmm, I am writing a lambda expression and this expression having one value. So, it is a with parameter and kept. Okay, assume that find find I want to find a given number is even or not. So, I just write find even okay, n and I am just writing written or I can say n 1 n 1 mod double equal to what 0. So, if it is equal to 0, now this will return what true otherwise it returns false. Then suppose find positive. So, I want to find out whether number is positive or not. So, find positive and this will receive one number and this will return. So, if n 1 is greater than uh, n 1 is greater than or equal to 0. So, n 1 is greater than or equal to 0. Now, this is even and this is positive. So, this is the implementation of find value. right? So, I am calling this find value. So, I can write here. So, even. So, this even finds given number is even number or not and this will find out whether its uh, number is greater than or equal to 0. Okay. If number is greater than or equal to 0, now these are I mean these are the operators which returns boolean value. So, find value is a method whose return type is what again boolean. right? So, I am calling here. So, boolean I just write boolean b 1 equal to even dot even dot I will say find value. Okay, I want to find out whether this value is a even or not. So, I just send a value called 10 and after that I try to print the value of b 1 by saying out dot print ln b 1. right? Okay, then I will say b 1 equal to even dot find value. Okay, I just send a value called 9. Okay. So, after that again I print okay, system dot okay, I am saying here system dot out dot okay, print ln I just print the value of b 1. right? Okay, now, once I run this now once I run this now you can see the output true and second one is false. In the same way I try to call okay, b 1 equal to positive okay, I just write positive minus 10 positive minus 10 and after that I try to print positive dot okay, find find value positive dot find value positive dot find value okay, and after that I am trying to print the value of b 1. So, out dot print ln I just print the value of b 1 right? Okay, and after that I am saying b 1 positive okay, positive dot find value and this time I try to input the value 20 right? and after that I am trying to print the value of b 1 by saying system dot out dot print ln. So, I print the value of b 1. Right. So, after this I try to run this. Now, you can see the output here. Now, that is false and one more is what? True. Okay. Now, this is a functional interface which contain a method with parameters and with return type. And this is nothing but writing a lambda expression with parameters and with a return type. Okay. So, thanks for watching this video. For more videos subscribe Naresh channel. Thank you. Thank you.